This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. Sway in the morning. Shave for five, 17 minutes into the hour. Adam Levin is here. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this man can be one of the most important people in your lives if you really learn how to tap into him as a resource. When he was last here, we talked about identity theft, Heather B. And being a victim of identity theft, where someone steals your social security information, your banking information, mm. whatever the case may be, I needed to hear from him. And he gave us a lot of great advice that people, did people respond to you on social media at all after you came on the oh, show? Oh yeah, no, we did. Yeah. We did. Yeah. And we saw that the, the YouTube video got a lot of, a lot of views. Got Very exciting. Views. Yeah, More right. views than I ever had before. Yeah. Yeah. You're blowing up, kid. You're Adam, blowing up. You're blowing up, baby. I got to hang with you yeah, all the time. On, I mean, come on, man. Anytime, man. As long as you protect my identity in the process. Sway and AK in the morning. I see it now. There we go. Wow. There we go. Oh. There we go. You just moved Heather B and Tracy out. I like that. <laughs> It's yeah. all right. Adam, you, you will be here forever. Okay. Forever. Forever and ever. ever. I don't know if that's a good thing. Um, Adam <laughs> is the chairman of Identity Theft 911 and Credit.com. Uh, we're going to discuss today how to prevent being scammed online. Interesting enough, before we get into this catfish story, I had uh, one of the guys on the board of the building that I'm in uh, email me uh, two days ago and said, hey, I just want to notify you that there's this site that's claiming your apartment and they're doing, uh, I just bought this place and they're doing um, uh, rental scams. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that's big. Summertime rental scams. Yeah. That's where they take a picture of somebody else's apartment, yeah. they put it up, they never meet with the people that might rent it, they kind of convince them to send them money, mm -hmm. and then when it comes time for them to show up at your apartment, they may be at your door, but the guy that took the money is five states away. Five states away. Wow. Yeah. So, um, and the, oh, Heather, this literally Saturday night I got this email. Wow. And yeah. I was like, well, what can I do? Can I report it to the police? What do I do in that case? Because I know the site. No, you need you, you should report it to the authorities right away. So by telling you, is this the same thing as reporting it to the authorities? I wish it would, but it's not. Uh, okay. But I, not, not, I haven't written, risen to that level yet, but okay. I'm, I'm working on it. Could you help me with that process? Absolutely. Okay, For good. sure. All right, wow. Adam Levin is here, man. Um, now, this today what we're going to talk about is summertime. A lot of people are looking for love. Uh, my mother and I had a conversation a month ago recently <laughs> about, you know, she's single now, and uh, she was said, what do you think about me going online and, and finding somebody? you know, that fits my profile and that, that I could be compatible with just as a friend. And I was immediately against it, Heather. We had a whole conversation about this. <laughs> I, I was remember. like, nah, man, that's a, like, that's a meat factory. That's a digital mm -hmm. meat factory. They just want to bang you out or take your money. People prey on people. No, they, people, right? They do prey on people. And and years ago, I was involved in online dating. Of course, I always seemed to meet angry people. I don't know why, but they were angry. Yeah. Everyone said, you're a serial dater. I said, no, I just want to meet somebody. No, yeah. no, you're a serial dater. Uh -huh. So it's, uh, you know, you you have to be careful who you meet. Okay. And, uh, and you know, they always said, and this is true of, of men and women, yeah. is if they have a lot of pictures on the website, somewhere in the midst of all those pictures is the real picture. Mm -hmm. You got to look hard. You got to look hard. You got to look hard. Okay, so I want you to give um, people who have been, you know, I got Eric on the line out of Houston, Max is on the line. They've been catfished. When someone pretends to be someone they're not uh, through their social media profile, you go to meet them and you're highly disappointed. If this has ever happened to you or you want to know how to avoid it, uh, give us a call. Adam is going to give you some really important advice. 888-742-3345. Call us. Adam Levin is here. Adam can help you improve your life by keeping you from becoming scammed. Today, we're talking about catfishing, which is a new phenomenon where people are lying online. You think you're going to get a largemouth bass. You think you're going to get a crappie, mm. but you end up getting a catfish, a bottom feeder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Lobster. Lobster. Crab. Right? Crabs. And um, <laughs> what are some of the statistics surrounding social media uh, or online dating? Well, they say that, uh, first of all, even forgetting catfishing, yeah. normal online dating, 81% of the people never tell you the truth. 81 wow. percent of the people are lying about something yeah now you know they could be lying about their age they could be lying about what they do they could mm -hmm. be lying about how they live where they live those kind of stuff but everybody yeah. you know you tell a little fib here and there that's yeah. fine now when it comes to scams 
The average dating scam, online dating scam, costs victims nine thousand dollars. Nine thousand dollars? Nine grand. So you could get on an average taken for nine thousand dollars? Yes, you could. How Sometimes so? Like what, what? What do they do? Yeah. Like well, how do they get the money? Like he, Tracy ain't got nine thousand. So how would they get yeah, it? Yeah, I'm of her? safe. I can online date freely because you ain't getting nothing from me. Yeah, but they may convince you to go to a friend that's got some money and send him some money. You know? What? <laughs> that's, is that what they do? Like how? Well, do they they, do it? what they'll do is everything they possibly can in order to get you to get into your wallet for them they'll either they'll ask you for help by buying them a ticket on a credit card yeah. which they then cash in someplace or the the sort of the one of choice is where they get you to go to western union and wire money to them because they're having a crisis it's amazing how many of these online scams are all based on the fact that i love you I need you. I want you. I want more of you. And oh, by the way, I'm having a problem. Can you help me? Mm. And a lot of people fall for that. Yeah, man. I, I, see, that's why I'm concerned about my, you know, my mother. If she, if she, if she goes. I mean, there. look. In fairness, there are a lot of people that met wh- one of the guys that runs one of my companies. Yeah. Met his wife online. Uh huh. Great marriage. It worked. Why a lot you? of other people that just doesn't happen. Just because depends. I'm curious because Adam mentioned that he did online dating. Was it successful? You have a wedding ring on now. I do. No, actually, it was successful because a good friend of mine, when I was living in Arizona for a year, involved yeah. with Identity Theft 911, he called me and said, what do I need to do to get you back to New York? I said, you've got to introduce me to the woman of my dreams. Two weeks later, he did. Got married. Here I am. So it wasn't online. No, this was not on. It was oh. offline. <laughs> no, this, was, this was very offline. All right, yeah. look, we got a lot of people right now on, on, who, who tune in to uh, Sway in the Morning Citizens who are going through this uh, right now, and they got some some questions. I'm going to go to, uh, let me see, Max in Dallas. Max, good morning. How you doing, Max? Man, good morning, man. I'm doing great, man. Thanks for asking. Absolutely. Big Max, y'all. Give it up for what Max. What up, Maxie? Yep. Hey, Max, say hello. What's up, Sway in the Morning? That's hey. what's up, man. Hey. Say- Hey, Max. How you doing? I'm good. How are How you, you, sir? Doing? Max, what happened to you, man? Talk, Tell Adam your story. Man, okay. I got to be the OG of getting catfish. Back in the, the AOL chat room days. Mm. Right. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I went on a recruiting trip out of high school. I met, you know, like a cheerleader at LSU. I had the number, like, written down on paper. This is before, you know, the cell phone game was up. And I, I got back home at the recruiting trip. The number was kind of wiped out. So long story short, I went back on one of these, you know, AOL chat room to try to find this chick. And I found a picture. I was like, dang, there she go. I found her. Woo, woo. So I interacted with her again, you know, and started conversing with this person that I thought was this chick that I met. So, you know, we developed this long rapport, became friends, you know, and we talking about getting intimate, this, that, and the third. So then I rescheduled time to go back, you know, to Baton Rouge to meet her. So, man, I go I go to the crib, right, and, you know, uh, letting her know I'm close. She had the door open, and I'm automatically thinking, you know, she probably laid it out. You know what I'm saying? We about to get it in. Yeah. So I walked in the door, you know, heading back to the bedroom, and it was kind of, like, eerie because she didn't meet me at the door. So mm. it's like another thought came in. Okay, yeah. I could get murdered, whatever the case may be. So I get back to the bedroom. And, you know, she's in the bed, this person, and she has a comforter over her head. Oh, my. And, a know, comforter <laughs> over her head? Yes, yes. Hear me out, though. She has what? a comforter over her she head. She was alive, was, though, right? She was alive. It, she was alive. Okay. Was only over, over one eye, though. You feel me? <laughs> oh. Like, okay, one eye. So I'm like, you know, talking to her like, man, what's up? You know, I came all this way, you know, at least give me a hug or whatever. And she was real hesitant. So, you know, me being aggressive, I like ripped the comforter off of her, man. I, I discovered, of course, that it wasn't the chick that I, you know, I thought it was. You know, the chick had a lazy eye. She was kind of pudgy. So, what? you know, long story short, being catfish, man, I, I got an alligator guard. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Well, in this case, you spent money for you, but you didn't necessarily spend any money on her, right? No, I didn't. You know, I mean, no, no money on her. This was, you know, for my benefit. You know? But, but let me ask you this, Max, in, in all fairness, man. Did you bang him out anyway? 
No, man, you know, it, it was, uh, I didn't know, to answer your question, no, but you know, it was like a moral test for me, because, you know, I had, like, established this rapport with her over the phone, and don't get me twisted, she was like a great person, like a friend, and then, you know, I wanted to, you know, test, maybe, okay, maybe I can think, okay, it's more than just the surface, you know, I, I established a relationship with a friend, but, you know, long story short, I couldn't do it, you know, I yeah, have physical traction, even though we are friends, but nah, I didn't bang it out, I, Knocked, knocked back a couple a couple of beers and then you know made my trip back you know afterwards but never forget that one bro yeah that's a good way max you're a citizen man I'll sway in the morning thanks for sharing that story with us man what, what advice would you give for people what are the red flags they should look out for adam well first red flag is that you're trying to communicate with somebody and they'll only do it by way of email or maybe text something's always wrong with the phone something's always wrong with the webcam yeah or, <laughs> or, or you say to yourself, wait a minute, she can't answer the cell phone, but she's texting me. So what now what's wrong with this picture? So the first step is they, they want to be available, but not exactly available. Yeah. And yeah. that's because, you remember the old Capital One commercial? Uh -huh. Hello, this is Peggy. Yeah. You know, it's that kind of thing. You have to be careful <laughs> of people who are, first of all, that they're even the same gender you think they are. Yeah. And then that they're, you know, the step one, are they who you think they are? And are they trying to get money from you? How many people are hurt? violently or assaulted through meeting people online can't give you a specific number but you got to believe it's it's a number that's meaningful at some yeah. point yeah you got to be careful right adam Absolutely. i want to I, I want the audience to have access to you man how can they reach you well you can you can uh, reach me through social media through twitter at uh, adam underscore k underscore levin yeah, that's l-e-v-i-n right right adam underscore k underscore levin Man, thank you for coming by again, man. Thank you All for right, inviting anything me. Anything else you want to say before you leave? Just remember, when you when you get involved in these things, remember sort of the seven quick points, yeah. which is, one, if they're not communicating with you in a way that you feel like you're actually communicating with a real person, be very nervous. Yeah. <laughs> If they start to come on too strong and love you after two or three uh, uh, yeah. communications, yeah. be very okay. nervous. Okay. If every email that they send to you is one where you're, it's like a B movie. Yeah. It's like it's misspelled, there are grammatical errors, yeah. there's yeah. something, it seems like they're repeating the same phrase over again. Uh huh. Be, be very, very nervous. nervous. <laughs> okay. If they bring you into a drama, uh -huh. like all of a sudden, and then ask you for help, be very, very nervous. nervous. Okay, okay. If they ask you for intimate pictures or they try to get you involved in something where you say to yourself, heaven help me if this ever got out online, be, be very, very nervous. nervous. Very okay. Nervous. If they ask you for money, they, they want your credit card number or they say, please go down to Western Union, wire me some money, I'm in trouble, be, be very, very nervous. nervous. And if after <laughs> all of this, they still haven't lured you in, it's the old, oh, let me send you some pictures and other things, let me show you where I live, because they're sending you a link that could have malware uh -huh. or could take you to a site where information is asked that's not right be, be very, very nervous. nervous there it is adam levin man reach out for him at adam underscore k underscore levin it's always great to have you here man yeah. thank you so much. all right it's sway in the morning only on shade 45